This is an AI text-to-music tool that I've been using known as Cassette AI. Essentially, you just type in your prompt and it'll be able to create music based on what you give. So in this video, we're just gonna go through Cassette AI and listen to the results that come up when using this AI music maker tool. So we can just start on the home page, which first starts with what we have usage, ability, and limits. Basically, the usage is you start with a prompt description. The ability is you're able to create professional grade music. And the limit is it may create weird generations based on the text that you use. So if we just take a look at the menu, we can see all the different options that we have and if we look at the text in the example we can see that they give us an example of what the text can look like so we can do something like calm music inspired by synthwave or christmas pop music or whatever it is that we're trying to look for and at the bottom they also give us some tags so we can look at things like lo-fi urban d major slow pace so depending on these different keywords that we're trying to put into the, the prompt it will determine what type of music will come out in the end. So again, you can just see that they keep giving us different examples of what we could use if we were trying to make something like this, such as piano chord progressions, an EDM track, whatever it is that we're trying to create. The nice thing about this from what I'm seeing is that there's a whole lot of different options. So whether it is something like electric guitar, E major, E minor, or things like that, now I think for me I'm going to go with something that I think might be quite easy. So I'll just say something like the lo-fi style music which is obviously super common on YouTube and has been popular a popular style on YouTube as well which is like the lo-fi hip hop beats that everyone does with those studying anime videos um, and I think I'm gonna try and create something like that so a lo-fi hip-hop beat that sounds very slow and spacey if you look at the melody it says that we can also use a melody as a reference which is a super cool tool I won't be doing that in this case essentially you give it the melody and it's able to create something based off of that then if we look at the options, we can see that we can change the duration of the music. So it can be 20 seconds or longer. And then we can refine it. Essentially, it's going to take the text that I've given and it's going to go into a lot more detail in terms of what the music can sound like. So that's just an example based on the text that I put. It was able to create a much longer version of that so i think i'm quite happy with this and i'm going to say create music and we can see how it turns out so first i just gotta sign in so you've just gotta sign in with your google account or whichever account that you're going to use once that's done then you can just get started with creating the music So once you click create, it shows you the estimated time that it will take to generate this track. There again, we have the text that we entered that it's going to use to create the music based off what we've given it. And uh, it's, it's going to take about 45 seconds for this track in particular, which I would say is not too long given the fact that it has to create, you know, an entire snippet, a full song based on just something uh, that we've given it. But again, I see there is the option to have the two times faster loading time, which is what you would have to pay for as a premium feature. Okay, so this is the track and let's hear it. So I would say overall it did capture the text that I entered. Would I say that the song sounded great? I wouldn't say that much, but I would say that it did capture the text that I entered pretty accurately. So it got that part correctly. Now we do have the option to even create a variation. So basically just like, you know, you see with Mid Journey or ChatGPT, once something is generated, you have the option to generate uh, different results based on the same prompt that we give it. 
and so that's what I'm gonna do with this option just to hear what maybe a different version sounds like again I'll say it sounded pretty good uh, can't complain about the sound but maybe we can just have a different variation and compare how that sounds to the original <laughs> So from what I heard, I think that actually sounded melodically a lot better. There was a lot more interesting things going on melodically, especially towards the end. Um, but it definitely did capture what I entered in. Now the cool thing is that we can also go to the explore option and see what other people are creating and then based off of that listen to it as well so we can get the opportunity to listen to some of what other people are inputting in and you know listen to that as well but what i can say is overall this tool is great for like creating background music or instrumental music or something that you want to keep in the background because it can generate something pretty quickly so i'd say overall this is a good tool to use if you're trying to generate ai music maybe something like instrumental or even like background sounds I would recommend using this tool for that specifically so feel free to share your thoughts on what you thought about that do you think that this is a tool that you're going to be using that you're going to come back to just what are your thoughts on how effective this tool is i think that it works well but you can just share what you think and we can all just share the feedback based on that i hope that you found this video helpful and informative and if you did make sure that you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for the latest in ai things that are going on latest tools latest events and the news that are happening and taking place and make sure that you do not miss an update so i appreciate the support that you've been giving and i hope that you learned something new and that it benefited you i'll see you in the next one